Hi, I'm Charlotte, a registered and licensed dietitian with a little bit of information on how to reduce your LDL cholesterol levels with your dietary intake. There's a couple things that can be fairly easy if you just pay attention. First and foremost, look at your saturated fat intake. Saturated fat comes from our animal sources. This could be in dairy products, could be in eggs, could be the visible fat that you actually see on the side of a steak. Saturated fat is any fat that stays solid at room temperature. That's why if you compare whole milk to skim milk, it's a lot thicker and creamier. And you may like that, but you might want to consider reducing your fat from the saturated or animal sources to help reduce those LDL levels as well. Now cholesterol is a fat, and our body makes it actually on our own, so we need to be aware of our dietary intake of overall cholesterol. The recommended daily amount is 200 milligrams per day. So you can imagine if you're already making some and you're consuming more than 200 milligrams, you might be at a higher level. Cholesterol is also associated with that saturated fat. So where you see the saturated fat, you're most likely to see that cholesterol level as well. So trying to avoid the animal fats and switching more to a vegetable source of fats is really a good option. Increasing those mono and polyunsaturated fats in the diet, as well as our omega-3 fatty acids that come from seeds, nuts, legumes, and our fatty fish can help again to bring those LDL levels down. And one last thing to keep in mind, your fiber intake. Look at your whole grain, um, your whole grain breads, as well as your fruits and vegetables, as these are all sources of fiber. And fiber, again, helps to bring those bad cholesterol levels down and actually remove them from our body. There's just a couple tips on how to lower your LDL cholesterol with your dietary intake. I'm Charlotte, and eat happy.